Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckery Designs, and I'd like to share a card with you that I made um, for a swap. Um, it was a dem demonstrator swap uh, when the new catalog came out, and I chose to use the Beauty of the Deep stamp set. I'm featuring this on my blog, and I have several other Beauty of the Deep projects. If you're looking for ideas, click the link here on YouTube, it will take you back to my blog post where there is a free PDF that has measurements and a supply list for this card as well as two other Beauty of the Deep cards if you're looking for ideas. Now this card doesn't have any sayings or sentiments so I pulled out the Timeless Arrangement. This is a really fun stamp set. We're going to just be using the thank you and I'm also using this die right here for that rectangle. This is the Timeless Arrangements bundle in the same catalog. Okay, well, let's get started. Let's bring over some grid paper. We're gonna need just a little bit of grid paper. And I've got one right here that I just used on another project, so we'll just flip that over. I have cut out um, a pretty peacock deckled rectangle, deckled edge rectangle. And I am gonna stamp this beautiful coral on it in the same color, Pretty Peacock. Okay, so I'm just gonna, as you can see, we've got a lot of things going on down here. So I'm gonna stamp it towards the top, and then I'm gonna stamp it again over here so that we just have more to see back there. Right now it looks eh, not so good, but we're gonna cover up most of that, and that'll just be in the background. Now we're also gonna stamp, let's see if I can find my cardstock. We're gonna stamp this beautiful angelfish in one of my favorite colors, Melon Mambo. And we'll stamp um, the anchor in one of my newest favorite colors, Pebbled Path. This is one of our <clears throat> in colors. And we'll stamp that right there, basic white. Um, and then we're gonna stamp this tall and skinny sea grass piece in Lost Lagoon on Lost Lagoon cardstock. All right, now we've got a lot of things to cut out. We're also going to cut out our coral, if I can get this piece picked up over here, from vellum, all right? And this um, coral is kind of tricky, so I'm gonna give you just a little bit of a tip on how to get it to cut out really well. When you have a die, that is intricate and it has lots of cutting edges on it like this one does. I find that running it through backwards, so, or upside down, so the cutting edge is facing up. And I'm gonna put that paper on top of it. And I'm gonna run it through a couple of times, give it some opportunity to make sure all of those cutting edges do what they're supposed to do. And then, as you can see, it cuts beautifully. And we'll grab our um, die brush. And I don't think I pulled out my foam, so let's see if I can keep it all in my hand. This is the die brush attachment for your take your pick tool. See how it gets all those out of there? All right, let's throw those away. And we can get that to come out very carefully. Vellum is kind of delicate, so oops, I almost just tore it myself. So be very careful as you pull it out of the die. But there you go, a beautiful, um, delicate die cut. All right, now the others aren't so delicate, but we do have to make sure that we line things up correctly. So I'm gonna get my fish. Now the fish you, has these little dots. You wanna make sure that you can see the tail or the fin up there, not the tail, the fin in those dots and then you'll know it's lined up. And then we'll get our anchor and our seagrass, all right, like that. And very carefully set that down. This card is relatively simple. When I make swap cards, that means I make a bunch of the same card. So I want them to be relatively easy. Um, this card, I think the hardest part was getting all the die cutting done. Um, but then after that, it was pretty easy. Now I've lost my anchor. 
Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Stuck to the plate. <laughs> All right. I think we're ready to start putting things together. Let's put our little scene together. I'm going to take my anchor first. And I'm going to use mini dimensionals. And I'm going to put them onto my anchor. like that and we'll stick this down to the coral like that and now we'll know exactly where to really put our adhesive so that it won't be seen we could put it all around here all right and then we're going to set that down right there okay and just kind of hold it down i'm going to grab my um seagrass and we'll use dimensionals for this as well I'm going to tuck that in kind of back there like that get our angelfish and we'll put her right about there now for the sentiment I have already cut out that stitched rectangle and we'll just stamp the thank you and melon mambo right in the center and again we'll use some dimensionals and these dimensionals that you put on top of that um, coral the vellum coral will hold it in place as well all right there we go now let's get our linen thread and tie we just want a little bow like that Snip, snip, grab your mini glue dots. And put that right there. Okay, now for your card, I have a basic white thick card base. I have a three and three fourths by five inch piece of basic white. Now my original card, I used the Pretty Peacock designer series paper from the Regals paper stack, but I, I don't have any more of that because I used it all up on my swaps. So I pulled out another Pretty Peacock piece. This is from our glorious gingham um, pack of paper, and it's just a one inch strip that we're gonna put on this side. I like that. And then I'm going to take my glue and just run a bead of glue down that side. And we'll put our strip of Melon Mambo. Snip that off. And now let's get, we're going to need lots of dimensionals. I like to use lots of dimensionals. We're going to put this one on here. Well, Let's see if I can get these dimensionals to do what they're supposed to do. It's the nails that are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. There we go. Put that right in the center. I love that white on white like that. And then we'll just add a few more for our little collage and then we'll be done. Now I used thank you. This could easily be a birthday card, thinking of you card hello card really any sentiment would work here all right and there you go and a pretty easy beauty of the deep card now make sure you click the link here on youtube hop over to my blog and grab that free pdf and check out those other two projects thanks everybody bye bye